Seven NBA players that let themselves go. What's life really like for an NBA player who chose to be a Starbucks barista after an amazing basketball career? If you know who we're talking about, make sure to keep it a secret. But if that sounds pretty odd to you, stick with us, because you're going to find out the name of the famous player who's training to manage Starbucks franchise. As a fan of the NBA, it can be pretty easy to do nothing but eat junk food while watching their legendary athletes perform in the games. But what if those athletes don't overthink too much about staying fit, and they enjoy the fat burger from the corner of the street as much as you do? Well, while athletes are in their prime, training is so intense that it's often hard for them to gain weight, unlike us. Welcome to Everything Sports. Number 7. Antonio Walker Never the athletic type, Walker's work ethic was always questioned during his playing days, even when he was one of the best young players in the NBA. He was always a bit slower, and his decision-making didn't always benefit his team. However, Walker's career wasn't actually as bad as people tend to think about it, as without him, the late 90s revival of the Celtics would have never happened. Walker was highly compensated for his contributions during his playing career. This is where his decision-making comes into play once again, as because of it, Walker lost most of his money. Unable to let go of his NBA dream, he continued to perform his wonderful shimmy in NBDL, but he no longer looked like an NBA player. It's actually very surprising how he was even able to play for so long on a KFC-based diet. Number 6. Magic Johnson While he was on the court, he looked incredibly athletic, even during the 1995-1996 season after he came back from retirement to help his Lakers stay relevant. He didn't play how he looked, but still, his participation in the season generated some much-needed buzz around the once-great team which fell into obscurity. That's what Magic is best at during his post-basketball career – business. He owns a lot of dining businesses, including Burger King restaurants, which somewhat explains why he gained some weight. If anything, he looks like a regular businessman, so at least he doesn't have many problems blending in, right? He's just not the same muscular guy who ran point for the Lakers, but his money's doing well, so why should he care? Number 5. Vin Baker This is a cautionary tale that includes millions in cold hard cash, alcoholism, bad investments, and supposed friends taking advantage of an athlete's prestige. Vin Baker played 13 seasons in the NBA, was a four-time All-Star, and was considered one of the top offensive forwards in the association. He earned over $100 million during his extensive playing career, but he somehow managed to switch from NBA All-Star to Starbucks Barista. Baker's training to manage a Starbucks franchise, a far cry from the stardom that he enjoyed in the NBA from 1993 to 2005. A known alcoholic during his playing days, Baker's on-court performance took a severe hit due to his chemical dependency. It ultimately cost him a once high-profile career and left him indigent. Quote, When you learn lessons in life, no matter what level you're at financially, the important part is to realize it can happen, Baker said in an in-depth interview. He went on to say, quote, I was an alcoholic. I lost a fortune. I had a great talent and lost it. He associates an alcoholism with a financial calamity that ended up leading him to be able to train as a Starbucks manager nearly a decade after earning 100 mil during his career. Baker has first-hand knowledge of what it has meant to be able to take everything for granted. He also is hell-bent on sending a message to young athletes today, saying, quote, when you make choices and decisions and think that it's never going to end, and then you get into spending and addiction and more spending, it's a definite formula for losing, he said. Quote, if you don't have perspective in your personal life and you don't understand what this 1 million or 15 million means, it will go. That's the point. It becomes a downward spiral that takes over your life. You have millions, so why not throw down 2,000 for a pair of shoes or 10,000 for a dinner with your entourage? The expenses stockpile, the addiction becomes real, and when the earnings don't increase, your checking account balance decreases rapidly. 
Baker also made a point of providing some wisdom regarding who athletes should surround themselves with. Wisdom that Baker wishes he had at a young age. Quote, I would insist that you surround yourself with a person you trust the absolute most. Someone who can tell you you're wrong. Don't buy that. Don't go there. That person's not good. I would also say be able to monitor every single dime that comes out of your account as if you're a Starbucks barista. Before we continue, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to turn on post notifications so that way you never miss a video from us. Number 4. Zion Williamson The New Orleans Pelicans superstar Zion Williamson has faced plenty of criticism about his sizable frame dating back to his high school days. Zion Williamson gained notoriety during his high school days as a high-flying dunker who looked like an NFL tight end as a teenager. The North Carolina native took his talents to do, where he dominated the competition with his brute force and athleticism. Williamson's body type has also been the object of scrutiny since he first rose to prominence as a McDonald's All-American at South Carolina's Spartanburg Day School where grainy footage of high reel slam dunks in high school gyms made him a YouTube sensation. To absolutely nobody's surprise, the Pelicans selected Williamson with his first pick of the 2019 NBA Draft. However, this rookie season included an early setback when the 6'6 forward tore his meniscus on October 13th, 2020. Given his physical style of play and his injury history, some suggested that Zion Williamson needed to lower his list playing weight of 284 pounds during the offseason. Many armchair physicians have positioned whether his weight was to blame for the knee injury in the first place. But Williamson's fourth quarter explosion, if only for a night, managed to put those questions on hold. Number 3. James Harden Twitter has totally exploded with the critics of James Harden. One tweet had even stated, quote, James Harden and I have the same body shape, but he's richer than me, so he can get away with it. And another one said, quote, at least when I see James Harden these days, it doesn't make me feel bad about my lack of activity over the last few months. After a controversial couple of weeks in which Harden failed to show up for preseason training amid talk of his desire to leave Houston, the sharpshooter was eventually roped in and finally faced up for his first warm-up match. But it was his appearance that left everyone baffled, with the former MVP looking far heftier than normal. Harden's never been the skinniest player in the league by far, but fans were at a loss for words over his considerable weight gain, particularly for an athlete of his caliber. People on social media had even short-sighted the 31-year-old, giving him nicknames throughout the game, including James Hamburger and James Olive Harden. Number 2. Luka Doncic Luka Doncic, two preseason games into the season, has been under scrutiny for putting on weight. Fans observed that the 21-year-old has gained some pounds since his time at the NBA bubble. As the 2021 regular season remains to be played, his athleticism was questioned by fans, while some joked about the quarantine being difficult on the NBA All-Star. Quote, one fan wrote, quarantine has been a struggle for us all, with an image zooming in on Doncic's stomach. While Doncic has previously been praised for losing weight, fans seem to think him gaining a few pounds will not help him perform on the court. Quote, he looked extra slow yesterday, needs to drop like 10 to 15 pounds. He still played well though, wrote another fan. When asked about social media's reaction to his weight, John Chich laughed it off, saying, quote, What can I say? I've never been a muscular guy. I mean, people on Twitter say every kind of stuff. But it's true. I'm not in my best shape. I will get there for sure. Doncic, who is listed at 230 pounds, put in gaudy numbers last year with 28 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists per game. He relies more on craftiness than on explosiveness, so he can afford to take more time to get into shape. Lastly, number one, Shaquille O'Neal. Never the most athletic guy on the team, maybe apart from the magic during his early years, Shaq was a real monster once he hit the basketball court. He could dribble, pass, and dunk while still weighing around 300 pounds. It's hard to believe that this man was once rumored to pursue a career in MMA because of his passion for the sport. 
Nowadays, he seems well suited for his desk job as an analyst alongside Charles Barkley and Kenny Smith. Dr. O'Neill, remember? He really has a degree in education. Is still a big guy, even though the athleticism seems very much gone now. He's probably still very powerful, but not as quick or agile as before. What do you think about these NBA players? Let us know in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time guys, we'll see you later.